Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some Belgian waffles. Now these are really easy and the end result was amazing. So definitely recommend to try this at home. You'll first start off with two cups of self-raising flour, two tablespoons of caster sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, 125 grams of unsalted melted butter, one quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup and three quarters of chilled milk, three eggs, and the equipment you'll be needing are a whisk, a mixing bowl to make your waffles in. I also have my waffle maker, some canola spray, and a ladle to scoop the batter up. Right, so now I've got my self raising flour into the bowl and I'm going to add my baking powder into the bowl as well and give that a mix with the whisk, combining all the ingredients together and these are only the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to crack my three eggs into the measuring cup which has the milk in it. These eggs are actually fresh and we got them from the chickens. Right, so now I'm going to add my caster sugar into the measuring cup, which has my milk and eggs. Now you can't see them, the eggs, because they're hiding at the bottom. Now my vanilla extract is going into the mixture as well. And if you don't have vanilla extract, I'd recommend to use maple syrup. Now you just add your melted butter into the mixture. Now this is not hot, so it doesn't scramble and cook the eggs. I have actually let that cool down for about two minutes. And I'm going to use the whisk that I mix my dry ingredients with to break down the egg yolks and just to combine all those ingredients together. So now I've just dug out a little bit of a hole for the mixture just to pour straight into. And I'm going to pour the whole thing. You don't have to pour a little bit and then whisk. And you don't really want to whisk it, you kind of want to fold the flour and the mixture, the liquid mixture together. And also scrape the edges with your whisk too. Now it is okay if your batter still has lumps in it as the end result. That is okay because the machine will help fix all of those mistakes. But I'm just going to keep doing mine, keep scraping the edges and then kind of keep it a bit lumpy. So that's what it looks like. I'm now just going to spray my waffle maker with a bit of canola cooking spray. And I'm going to just ladle my mixture. Now I'm adding one label, ladle, sorry, full into my mixture. Now I did end up adding two tablespoons of milk because it did turn out thicker than I thought it would be. I think because the eggs were a little bit smaller and so we needed a little bit more liquid I'm not going by a specific time, but my waffle maker said it was ready, so I took it out. Now this is a plain one, you guys can add whatever toppings you like. The colour actually turned out really well, and actually really crispy on the outside and really chewy in the inside, which I love. Now some recommendations are some maple syrup, and I've also added some Sara Lee um, creamy French vanilla ice cream. Now this is what I put on mine, some icing sugar, some Nutella, the Sara Lee ice cream and, some, and a strawberry. That's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and like for more.